Hi, this is Ilke from Sonotype and I'm here with a quick uh, demo video today to uh, talk to you about how to find out which ones of your applications that have been scanned with Nexus Lifecycle uh, contain a given specific component. Um, the catalyst for, uh, for me making this video is that uh, uh, today we found out that a component published in the NPM ecosystem called Conventional Changelog has had uh, a hacked version that got uh, pushed into the, um, into the uh, NPMJS uh, ecosystem. So what happened was one of the uh, maintainers of the package, um, package um, uh, got their NPM uh, login credentials compromised and what the attacker did was was uh, uploaded a new uh, version of this package uh, with malicious code that allegedly was a crypto uh, miner. So anyone who public downloaded the uh, version 1.2.0 between uh, for about a day and a half or so uh, downloaded a version of this component that contained some extra code. So. Um, so we received some questions of how can I identify which components have, uh, which applications that I've scanned with my Nexus lifecycle have, the, have uh, that particular bad component. So Nexus Lifecycle um, is our um, tool that helps uh, companies uh, create what we call bill of materials, uh, bill of materials of every one of their builds. So every time um, uh, you run a build, uh, Nexus Lifecycle allows you to scan the contents of that build and provide you with what we call a bill of materials report that shows you exactly which components went into that particular, um, particular build. But of course, uh, when you have uh, hundreds and thousands of applications and such a situation occurs, you want to be addressing this as soon as possible. So how can I do it? Well, the good news is uh, Nexus Lifecycle has a detailed REST API uh, for component searching that allows you to search all of your scan reports and provide you with a list of all of the applications that we've ever seen uh, ever seen a given component in. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's a REST endpoint uh, where you point it to your um, uh, uh, to your um, local IQ server and as you can see here see here this example is for Maven so we're talking about a Maven uh, style coordinate system. So in order for us to search for a JavaScript version uh, this is what this would look like. So it's a it's a, um, a, a, a get request that you send to uh, search uh, to the uh, search API, search component. You have to provide it with a stage ID uh, and component identifier. And um, uh, uh, this component identifier parameter, which you see in clear text up here, has to be has to be um, HTTP encoded. So you have to have to make sure that you get it through URI encoding. Now we call the format that we identify uh, uh, JavaScript in a name, which is short for authoritative name. Uh, the coordinate that we want to be looking at is conventional changelog core and some of the other submodules that get downloaded when you install a conventional changelog. Um, and the rest of these parameters are out there. I'll publish uh, the uh, syntax in the blog post that, I, that this uh, video is going to be associated with. So if we take this uh, request and we run it in our terminal, uh, what we get back is a JSON. So if I pipe this to uh, uh, to my Sublime uh, really quickly, and we look at it over here, we can see that it provides us with a list that shows us uh, exactly uh, what uh, applications this has been seen in. So if you look at the uh, query parameter over here, uh, we uh, what we really did is asked it, uh, show me all applications in production that have had this component uh, uh, visible. So we can see that uh, the application name uh, that has had uh, this component uh, is called application one. Um, and here's the report that we've seen it in. So if I, if I copy paste this URI out of this link, I can uh, use this to access the corresponding bill of materials in my IQ server and, um, and um, uh, investigate more information. So I can see that this scan was run today, uh, the uh, uh, 14th of February, also known as Valentine's Day. And um, and um, uh, if I uh, if I um, uh, search uh, uh, search this, we can see that um, uh, this component uh, is present here. So that's my uh, short demonstration. I hope this helps you uh, find out where exactly your applications are. But using this REST API, it becomes very easy to query 
all of your historically scanned applications and know exactly where your uh, what applications contain um, a vulnerable component or a newly vulnerable component.